My plants and my 15 litre container full of homemade compost. Now we don't know how many nutrients are going to be in this compost because it depends what it was made of and it can be very inconsistent. So I'm going to enrich it with about a tablespoon of slow release fertilizer. Just scatter that in all around and then give it a nice mix before we get planting. So I'm making myself a nice deep hole for my ranunculus plants, look at those roots. Absolutely fantastic. Nestle him in. We're gonna put three in a 15 litre container. Just firm in the compost all around. Last one going in. There we go. Fantastic. Adding about three or four scoops of shop bought compost just to the very top to smother any weed seeds because the minute homemade compost comes into contact with light and then you're going to water them, that will make the weed seeds germinate and you don't want these plants competing for nutrients and also you don't want your pot to look untidy either. Then I'm going to give them a really good watering in and I'm using a little bit of seaweed tonic in the water because the slow release fertiliser won't be available to the plants straight away. So this will give them a little boost, a little kick into action and then we can leave them to get on with growing. I've brought the pots outside as you can see. If it stays mild where you are they can stay outside. If you haven't hardened them off make sure you pot them somewhere uh, sheltered out of the wind and out of direct sun just until their leaves toughen up but otherwise they can go out on your patio but do bring them in if we have a risk of frost. So I'm planting my anemones in exactly the same way and we have got buds on all the anemones so put them in really gently but it's not a moment too soon to get them planted. I'm going to put five plants in this 15 litre container, so more than your ranunculus. They take up less space. I'm taking them all out of the cells ahead of time because it can be difficult when you're planting and you've only got one hand and you don't want to damage these plants. Now, can you see that wonderful root ball? Please do not loosen the roots. Don't rip the root ball, don't loosen them. They are not a perennial. And you can see that the roots are already pointing outwards, ready to explore their new home. So as soon as you plant them, literally within days, they would have broken free of this root ball all by themselves and will be out exploring all the new space. Here, I've got some pots that I potted up yesterday. I thought you might like to see them. So you can see I have hardened the leaves off. They're very thick and glossy, which means they won't lose too much water in the sun and the wind. I have actually put them in a sheltered spot just because the weather's been so unpredictable. Um, don't worry if your leaves look different to this. Depends on the variety that you ordered. They all look different. And don't worry about the white splodges. Can you see? Don't worry, they don't have a disease. That's what they're supposed to look like. They're absolutely fine. So I will leave these here for a couple of days and then I will move them up to the patio where I can see them even from the house. Here are the anemones and you can see, look, a bud has shot up overnight. So they're very happy indeed in their new homes. And just in case you needed a reminder, this is what you have got to look forward to. So these, was started in the autumn and you can see that the foliage is absolutely massive because it's had all of this time to grow. Look at the stems and look there's more stems and more buds coming up so once these flowers are finished there'll be some more to take their place. Look at that. I've been waiting for this red one to flower. It's actually probably more pink isn't it? It's magenta. I absolutely love it. Isn't it just so unusual? Absolutely fabulous. Look at it. It's still going. Now, if you've been watching my stories, you will remember me showing you this flower before, or this cluster 
of flowers. It's all from the same plant and it has been blooming for the entire month of April. So what is it today? The 28th of April? It's been blooming, literally it was in bud at the end of March and started opening at the beginning of April and here it is on the 28th and it's still looking absolutely knockout. But of course the anemones, oh for goodness sake, look at the size of the stems. This one is just opening now, absolutely fantastic. So this is why we give them probably a little bit more space than you were expecting but we want them to be able to grow big and strong and flower for us beautifully.